The moment when you can create a copy of yourself may be closer than you think. In November 2025, Elon Musk announced that within 20 years, humans may be able to upload their consciousness into Tesla's Optimus robot by combining Neuralink technology with humanoid robotics. Imagine waking up one morning and realizing that housework, cooking, cleaning, organizing, and even basic caregiving are no longer part of your daily burden. Not because you hired help, but because a humanoid robot quietly handled everything overnight. This is not a scene from I, Robot, or Star Wars. According to Elon Musk, this future is not decades away. It is already being engineered, tested, and prepared for mass production. So uh, the, 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 the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Like, b bigger than cell phones. At Tesla's 2025 shareholder meeting, Musk made one of the boldest claims of his career. Optimus may become the biggest product of all time, bigger than smartphones. He didn't stop there. He argued that Optimus could eliminate poverty, deliver universal health care, and fundamentally reshape human labor. While such statements sound outrageous, what shocked audiences even more was not the words, but the robot itself. Optimus walked untethered, danced on stage, navigated spaces autonomously, and performed real tasks inside Tesla facilities 24 per 7. But beneath the hype lies a far more grounded and practical truth. Optimus is being built first and foremost as a homemaker. Not a stunt robot, not a lab experiment. A real, scalable, cost-efficient household assistant designed to live and work among humans. This raises a serious question, perhaps the most important one of all. So why is Elon Musk focusing on making Tesla Optimus a robot for household chores? To answer that convincingly, we must look beyond spectacle and examine the foundations. Unlike most humanoid robots that prioritize agility, speed, or acrobatics, Optimus focuses on the mundane but essential tasks that define everyday life. Tesla understands that for robots to be accepted into homes, they must prove their value in kitchens, living rooms, and bedrooms long before they are trusted in factories or hospitals. That is why Tesla's current demonstrations emphasize cleaning, organizing, kitchen manipulation, and object handling rather than flashy movements. Optimus has already been shown vacuuming floors, wiping countertops, sorting objects, stirring pots, serving food, and performing routine household services, tasks that are rarely highlighted in robotic showcases but are central to real domestic labor. One of the most decisive factors that distinguishes Optimus from its competitors is Tesla's focus on the human hand. Elon Musk openly acknowledged that replicating the forearm and hand is among the most difficult challenges in robotics, describing the human hand as an incredible thing. There's really three things that are super difficult about robots. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand, uh, because the human hand is an, an incredible, incredible thing, actually. It's Household work demands a level of dexterity that goes far beyond strength or speed. Folding laundry, holding fragile objects, spreading sauces, slicing vegetables, or cleaning surfaces all require subtle force control and continuous adjustment. Tesla approached this challenge by engineering robotic hands with dozens of miniature actuators and up to 22 degrees of freedom, enabling each finger to move and respond with near-human precision. This design allows Optimus to cradle delicate objects without breaking them and manipulate small household items in ways that most robots simply cannot. While robots like Boston Dynamics Atlas can run, jump, and perform backflips, they still struggle with tasks as simple as peeling an orange. Tesla's Optimus sacrifices spectacle in favor of fine motor control, which is precisely what homemaking requires. Equally important is how Optimus learns to perform these tasks. Traditional robots rely on rigid line-by-line -line programming, which makes them brittle in unpredictable environments. Homes, however, are inherently chaotic. Every household has different layouts, clutter patterns, furniture, arrangements, pets, and human behaviors. To address this, Tesla trains Optimus using a sim-to-real learning approach that mirrors human learning. For more than a year, Optimus has been training up to 16 hours a day at Tesla's Palo Alto facility, observing human demonstrations, watching tutorial videos, and practicing tasks in simulation before executing them in the real world. Through this process, the robot learns by making mistakes, correcting them, and gradually refining its actions. Rather than recognizing objects purely by shape, Optimus learns their function, 
It understands that a knife is used for cutting, a pan is used for cooking, and a jar contains sauces. This functional understanding allows it to operate effectively in real kitchens and living spaces without needing pre-programmed roots or static environments. Optimus is also designed to coexist naturally with humans. Interaction is not limited to spoken commands. The robot is capable of interpreting gestures, body language, and subtle visual cues. A glance toward a pile of dishes or a simple point toward the floor can be enough for Optimus to infer intent. This intuitive interaction is powered by Tesla's AI5 cognitive system, which continuously builds and updates a three-dimensional map of the home. Using cameras, depth sensors, and real-time processing, Optimus navigates narrow hallways, avoids furniture, distinguishes between objects and living beings, and adapts instantly when children or pets move unexpectedly. This situational awareness is essential for domestic environments, where safety, adaptability, and predictability matter more than raw performance metrics. The upcoming Optimus Gen 3, scheduled for release in the first quarter of next year, represents Tesla's first commercial humanoid robot and marks a significant leap toward household integration. Elon Musk described it as being so realistic that it will seem as though there's someone like a person in a robot outfit. With a design that is approximately 70% human-like, hidden joints, smooth surfaces, and natural movement, Optimus Gen 3 is intended to feel familiar rather than alien. This matters deeply in a home setting, where trust and comfort are prerequisites for acceptance. Rumored Features such as an OLED facial display, Grok voice integration, and even more refined hands further reinforce Tesla's intent to make Optimus a natural presence in daily life rather than an intrusive machine. From a productivity standpoint, Optimus fundamentally redefines household labor. Musk suggested that Optimus could achieve up to five times the annual productivity of a human because it can operate continuously without fatigue. Unlike human homemakers, the robot does not require rest, does not experience burnout, and can work through nights and weekends. This uninterrupted operation transforms domestic work from a constant burden into a background process, freeing human time for creativity, relationships, and higher-level pursuits. Taken together, these factors explain why Tesla Optimus stands apart as the most promising homemaker robot ever developed. It prioritizes dexterity over theatrics, learning over rigid programming, adaptability over controlled environments, and human-centered design over mechanical efficiency. Tesla did not build Optimus to impress crowds with stunts. It built it to clean homes, prepare food, organize spaces, and assist people in their daily lives. When Elon Musk refers to Optimus as a real homemaker, it is not a marketing slogan but a direct reflection of the robot's engineering philosophy. And crucially, this represents only the beginning of what Tesla envisions for human-robot coexistence. How can Tesla's Optimus robot be considered safe enough to protect your family? If Optimus proves that it can function as a homemaker in a single household, that alone would be impressive. But what truly elevates Tesla bot beyond every other humanoid robot is not what it can do today. It is how many homes it can realistically reach tomorrow. Homemaking is not a luxury service for a privileged few. It is a universal need. A robot that cannot be produced at scale, maintained affordably, and deployed safely across millions of households cannot truly redefine domestic life. This is where Tesla's Optimus gains its most decisive advantage. Elon Musk repeatedly emphasized that the success of Optimus depends not only on intelligence or dexterity, but on manufacturability. He stated that once Tesla reaches production volumes exceeding 1 million units per year, the cost to build each robot could fall to approximately $20,000. At that price point, Optimus transitions from being a novelty or industrial tool into a realistic household asset. For comparison, many families already spend far more than that on cars, kitchen renovations, or long-term domestic labor. The significance of this cost target cannot be overstated. Most humanoid robots today cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes even millions, making them unsuitable for home use, regardless of their technical sophistication. Tesla's ambition is not to build the most expensive robot in the world, but the most accessible one. This cost advantage is inseparable from Tesla's manufacturing philosophy. According to Musk, the components required to build Optimus have existed within Tesla's ecosystem for years. He argued that Tesla vehicles are already robots, simply robots with four wheels instead of two legs. Batteries, power electronics, motors, gearboxes, network connectivity, AI-based vision systems, 
Custom processing chips, control software, and fleet management infrastructure are all core components of Tesla cars, and they are equally essential for a humanoid robot. From this perspective, Optimus is not an entirely new category of product, but a natural extension of Tesla's existing technological foundation. As Musk stated during the meeting of spots in, I like so. This is simply a robot with arms and legs. This framing explains why Tesla can move so quickly while others struggle to escape the prototype phase. Tesla's experience in mass-producing millions of vehicles each year gives it a decisive advantage in robotics. Manufacturing a humanoid robot is not just an engineering challenge. It is a supply chain, automation, quality control, and logistics challenge. Many robotics companies can build impressive demonstrations, but very few can build millions of identical units reliably. Tesla has spent over a decade refining high-volume production lines, vertically integrating critical components, and driving costs down through scale. Musk confidently claimed that Tesla is already the world's largest robot manufacturer, not because of Optimus alone, but because every Tesla vehicle is an autonomous robotic system. This industrial maturity allows Tesla to approach homemaking robots not as boutique products, but as consumer electronics on a global scale. The planned release cycle of Optimus further reinforces this strategy. Musk outlined an annual upgrade path similar to smartphones or electric vehicles. Optimus Gen 3 will debut first as the initial commercial model, followed by Gen 4 in 2027 and Gen 5 in 2028. Each generation is expected to bring major improvements in intelligence, dexterity, battery life, and production volume. This predictable cadence matters for households. It signals long-term support, iterative refinement, and cost reduction over time. A homemaker robot must be dependable for years, not a one-off experiment. Tesla's roadmap suggests a commitment to continuous improvement rather than a single, static release. Optimus Gen 4 in particular, highlights how Tesla prioritizes practical domestic performance over visual redesign. Reports indicate that while its external appearance will remain largely unchanged, from Amsairo Mishur, Wanin Saupish Gen, the Nantadi Rur, Gurrao, Vitur, Lemmer Nearingi will see substantial upgrades. Operating time is expected to increase from approximately 7 hours to nearly 12 hours allowing the robot to perform extended household tasks without frequent recharging. Movement speed and responsiveness will also improve, making Optimus more efficient in time-sensitive chores. Most importantly, Gen 4's hands will achieve significantly higher dexterity, enabling tasks that require extreme precision. While Generation 3 may be able to retrieve a drink from the refrigerator, Generation 4 is expected to open the bottle, pour it carefully, and place it on the table without spilling. A small detail that perfectly illustrates the difference between novelty and true domestic utility. These improvements, however, do not come without trade-offs. Musk acknowledged that Optimus Gen 4 would likely cost at least $20,000 more than Gen 3 initially. Yet even this higher price remains remarkably low compared to other humanoid robots with far fewer capabilities. More importantly, Tesla expects costs to fall dramatically as production scales. Musk laid out an aggressive manufacturing vision, beginning with a production line capable of building 1 million robots per year in Fremont, then expanding to 10 million, 100 million, and eventually up to a billion units annually. While the numbers sound almost absurd, Musk framed this as a serious objective, calling it the fastest production ramp of any large complex manufactured product in history. This scale is not merely about profit. It is essential to the homemaker mission. A robot that can eliminate domestic labor for a small segment of society changes little. A robot that becomes as common as a smartphone fundamentally reshapes how people live. Musk explicitly linked this vision to economic transformation, stating that with AI and robotics, humanity could scale the global economy by tenfold or even hundredfold. In the domestic context, this means freeing billions of people from unpaid, repetitive household labor that disproportionately falls on women and caregivers. Optimus, in this sense, is not just a technological product, but a social intervention. Why will the Tesla Bot Gen 3 be the best-selling robot in 2026? When discussing humanoid robots, the idea of which one is best depends entirely on what problem the robot is meant to solve. If the goal is athleticism, acrobatics, or navigating extreme terrain, Boston Dynamics Atlas clearly represents a pinnacle of engineering. 
its ability to backflip, balance on unstable surfaces, and move with remarkable agility, showcases extraordinary advances in mechanics and control systems. However, excellence in physical performance does not automatically translate into usefulness in everyday human environments, particularly inside the home. If the objective is to build a robot that can meaningfully integrate into daily human life, the field narrows considerably. In this context, Tesla's Optimus distinguishes itself, not through spectacle, but through deliberate design choices focused on practicality, scalability, and real-world utility. While Atlas demonstrates what is mechanically possible, Optimus is designed to demonstrate what is genuinely useful. Atlas and similar research-oriented robots are primarily experimental platforms. They are expensive, produced in limited quantities, and optimized for controlled demonstrations rather than domestic environments. Homes are not obstacle courses. They are cluttered, unpredictable spaces filled with fragile objects, pets, children, and constantly changing conditions. Tasks such as folding laundry, organizing a kitchen, pouring liquids, or handling glassware require fine motor control, adaptive perception, and contextual understanding, skills that are far more relevant to homemaking than acrobatics or rugged mobility. Tesla's Optimus is engineered with this reality in mind. Its humanoid form factor is not cosmetic. It is functional, allowing the robot to operate in spaces designed for human bodies. Internal testing has reportedly shown Optimus performing delicate assembly and manipulation tasks that even new human workers struggle with. These capabilities directly translate to household chores and caregiving tasks. Unlike viral demonstrations meant to impress, these tests emphasize repeatable practical skills that matter in daily life. Another crucial distinction lies in manufacturing philosophy. Atlas is not designed for mass production. It is a research tool. Optimus, by contrast, is explicitly built for high-volume manufacturing, leveraging Tesla's experience in large-scale production and supply chain optimization. This focus enables Tesla to pursue a radically different goal, affordability. Tesla has suggested a long-term target price around $20,000 once production scales, a figure that, while ambitious, reframes humanoid robots from luxury curiosities into potentially accessible household tools. Competition in humanoid robotics is intensifying, particularly from China. Companies like Xpeng have introduced humanoid designs, such as the Iron Robot series, featuring innovations like solid-state batteries and proprietary AI chips, Xpeng has even projected that robot sales could surpass car sales within a decade. These developments are significant and add healthy, competitive pressure to the industry. However, many of these emerging robots remain hardware-centric. Advanced batteries or custom chips do not automatically translate into domestic usefulness. A household robot must safely cook, clean, adapt to unstructured environments, and interact intuitively with humans. Without a deeply integrated software ecosystem, learning pipelines, and safety architecture, hardware innovation alone cannot deliver reliable home assistance. In this respect, Tesla's advantage lies in its vertically integrated AI stack. So can a robot genuinely be considered a homemaker if the range of tasks it performs is still limited to repetitive labor, rather than handling the complex, emotional, and situational demands of family life? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. Goodbye.